Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and welcome to today's blog. We're going out and we see a lamb. The second mama had her baby and she didn't definitely didn't look as big and she only had one. I'll go see if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> Oh, it's been born for a while. It looks all dried off already. Here, you hold this. I'm gonna go see if I can pick it up. This mom was way more skittish. It's crazy. <laughs> Got it. Oh dear. Here, Mama, you can have your baby back. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, uh, he wants to see us. <laughs> this is the little girl from Nichols babies that she had in the last video. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. What a sweetheart. Poor Penny is the fattest one and everyone's having their babies before her. She looks so miserable. So this morning, Luke wakes me up He's got a lamb in his arms and he wakes me up and he's like, I don't know which sheep this lamb goes to, it's been abandoned. And so we go out there and one of the sheep has a new lamb and the other sheep doesn't seem to have given birth. So I'm pretty sure that that one that already had a lamb had two and then she abandoned one. So we tried to put it back in there with her. We put locked him in the hoop house together for a little while and we watched him really closely, but then she started trying to ram it. So I took her out. We tried to see if that other mom who had twins would take her and she seemed like really concerned about her and she let her be with her lambs. So she wasn't guarding against her, which was good, but she also wouldn't let her nurse. And I also just didn't want to make a first time mom feed three lambs. That takes a lot of energy. So we decided to just bring her in and bottle feed her until possibly being able to graft her on to one of the other sheep who hasn't had their babies yet. So that's that's what's been going on this morning. I'm heating up some cow's milks for that little lamb. Um, Luke's gonna go get some formula at the store when it opens, but I don't want her to have to wait another hour. So one time having cow's milk isn't gonna do much. It, Luke looked it up and it seemed like people were like, wait, just wait a minute, people were giving him cow's milk. Um, it just has less fat content so they weren't growing as fast. So, but one time we'll be just fine. But she seems really lethargic, kind of just laying around. She's so tired. She needs food. See, this is what I'm like when supper's not ready. <laughs> Just hanging out in the kitchen with the little babies. Hilda's doing really good with her. She's a little too rough, but when she does that, I just like verbally correct her and she does really good with that, so I'm happy with it. 
Here, you go see Hilda what she's eating. Good girl, Hilda. She's just hanging out. I'm heating up her bottle. We, Luke went and got colostrum powder and we're just using cow's milk for now because our hope is that when one of the other two sheep that are still pregnant have their babies, that we can get out there in time and rub all the afterbirth and placenta on her and put her with their babies and try to graft her on. Uh, that would be ideal. And then we wouldn't have to bottle feed her for four months or whatever. So we're just going to be feeding her cow's milk until we know if we can do that or not. And then if it, ended up, if it ends up not working to graft her on, then we'll go buy actual lamb milk replacer and feed her that until she's weaned. She's so sweet. It would be fun to just fall and feed her the whole time. <laughs> she thinks I have milk in my chin. What a sweet little girl. And it makes it all easier that she's a little girl because rams can get where they, they'll ram you if they're in the house and bottle feeding, but she's gonna be a sweet little, tame little sheep, aren't she? All right, Luke dragged over this chain link enclosure, you can see right here. So we didn't want her to become too acclimated to the warm house and then have to go back out in the cold when she's big enough to be with the sheep. It wouldn't be very fair to her. So we're gonna keep her out in the cold since she's already acclimated to it. And there's this thing, this chain link has a roof and we're gonna put a kennel in there so that she can snuggle up in a bed and stay warm out of the wind. And then we'll just come out here and feed her every couple hours and spend time with her a lot. Making some raw milk keeper. It's a few days after the last sheep had their babies and now Penny, the big mama who's been so grumpy all this time, has had her babies too. And she had triplets. She had them while we were gone to Azure. And I come home and there's all these babies out here. There's three of them and they look so big and healthy. And they're all setting up and she's taking care of all of them. She's such a good mama. Oh, I'm so happy she had them. She was looking so miserable, the poor thing. Here she is. So, since she had three, I'm not going to try to graft it on the other one. Because three is enough to take care of, so we're not going to try to graft a fourth one on. Yes, she Yeah? Is she a tiny sheep? Yeah? <laughs> I'll just go with the cut that mom put ya. No, it's... Penny might get you. What? Penny might hurt you. We don't want to go over there yet. Girl, no.
All right, we're gonna go out and see what the gender of these lambs are, if we can get anywhere near Penny. All right, Luke's gonna try to catch some lambs. That's a good idea. <laughs> She's gonna get you. <laughs> well, she can't do much damage from there. Oh. There we go. You got her. Hey, little baby. You're so cute. I bet this one's a boy. That's my guess. Yep. It is a boy, indeed. Oh. All right, wait, I'm gonna guess it's a, a girl. That's what I would guess. Yep. It is a girl. Nice. There we go. All right, good. <laughs> okay, last guess. I'm gonna say it's another girl. I'd say it's a girl. Boy? Oh, it's a boy. All right, two boys and a girl. All right, now to get this off. Uh. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I survived her headbutting me. I just don't want her to hurt her babies. She's gonna bite you. You're getting close, that's good. Yes, you did it. Yes! <laughs> oh my word. That was terrifying. Yeah, we have literally never had a ewe that aggressive to towards us. Normally they'll guard really well against the other sheep or against dogs or whatever, but they are bonded to us so they don't guard against us. They let us come up and see their babies and see what they are. She got like that at the end of her pregnancy and I thought it was just her, she was so grumpy because she was uncomfortable. But after seeing how she is with us, now that her babies are here, I think she's just like really, really aggressively protective you. Which makes me kind of uncomfortable having the kids around her. I don't know if she continues to be this way for very long. I don't know if we'll be keeping her because that's really dangerous. <laughs> like they, we've raised Barbados for years and I've never seen that happen. So she was like snorting like a buffalo and trying to bite him. And that was like the strangest thing ever. So just so you know, that's, that does not always happen. <laughs> Let's get baby Marjorie up for her food. Come on, Marge. There you are. Hi, little baby. Oh my goodness. Hello. She's looking for milk. Hello, Marge. All right, let's go in the house and get some milk. She follows me, it's so cute. Feel that gentle. Ah, it came in the house and peed. Well, we got Marjorie on a lamb milk replacer that I got from Cowpoke and she's doing so much better on it. I just mix two ounces of the powder with a cup of water. I just use warm water on the tap so I can give it to her right away. And it's the third or fourth day now. So I've stopped giving her colostrum now. I guess it's the fourth day because you give her colostrum for three days and then now I'm done giving her colostrum. But her, she stopped having liquid diarrhea. So that's really exciting because that was really annoying to clean up all that mess in the house so she's just got normal kind of soft lamb turds <laughs> it's still not the funnest to clean up and it's not like it will be when she's an adult but it's much better than before so she's doing really good she still she still insists on drinking out of the baby bottle that i used for the kids and she won't drink out of either of the lamb nipples that we got her which is fine i suppose it just comes out kind of fast for her so i wish she would just use the one she's supposed to use but I suppose as long as she's eating, I'm happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these lambs born. We have six lambs born on this video, so that was quite a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.